I'm here in Jakarta showcasing native Australian ingredients as a part of Aussie Bungat for Food Month. And in front of me, I have a selection of amazing ingredients all the way from Australia. Right here, I have muntries. Now, these are a lovely little fruit from the southern regions of Australia. Nice and sweet with a little bit of bitterness. They go really well with bold meats or nice sweet desserts. Now this ingredient here is becoming world famous, readily available in supermarkets across Australia and internationally. Now I have the finger lime. I have a red and a green varietal. They're also called citrus caviar or lime caviar. And that's because of these lovely little pearls of citrus that add a textural element along with a citrus zing to any dish you add them on. Garnish your pavlova, seafood dishes, as well as your cocktail that you love to drink at the end of a long day. Now here, this is lemon myrtle. It's great to infuse into all types of sweet and savoury dishes, custards, ice creams, cakes, teas even. This ingredient here is called the desert lime. It's from the drier regions of Australia and commonly eaten whole or sliced and goes really, really well in salads. I love to use it all the time. And here I have wattle seed. Now this is a great native Australian ingredient harvested by traditional owners of Australia. It is dried and ground and it can be infused into all types of dishes as you would coffee or tea and it imparts a nutty flavour similar to hazelnut. And this is an ingredient that I like to use in a lot of dishes. This is salt bush, dried and ground and I use it as you would salt to garnish all types of dishes. All these ingredients are being showcased across Jakarta as part of Aussie Bunga for Food Month.